pleased to be joined by head coach of the South Plains College Rodeo Program, Mr. Kerry Doster. Coach, you finally get to get back on the saddle this week and go to Odessa. You had a great first semester. Talk about some of the things you were pleased with, and obviously you're sitting atop the region on the women's side. That's got to be good going uh, going into Odessa. Yeah, it's good. Uh, but, you know, I also, I also have that in the back of my mind. We were sitting there last year, and yeah. we did have a good weekend there. And didn't draw so well, and we wound up coming out of their third, and that's where we end up. So. I think these girls are fired up. A lot of these girls are back, and you know they they remember the spot we were in last year. And so I don't know. We'll see what happens. They they uh, we had a jackpot over at Tech last night, and uh, all the girls went over and opened tied goats, and uh, they look like they are kind of zoned in. So we'll see what uh, transpires this weekend, and just hope we come out on top. Obviously, practice had to be a little different last week with uh, some of the things you ran into. How have you seen these kids develop over the year, and how how fresh do you think they are? Uh, going into this first rodeo, the second 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 half of the season. Well, we we've been we had pretty good practices there for the first few weeks there, until this last week and a half. You know, which I think most everybody in the region was probably in the same spot we were in. Uh, you know, we were kind of shut down, but we got things fired back up on Sunday, and everybody kind of seemed to come back in and uh, excited and ready to get back get back at it. So get ready for Odessa. So. Yeah. On the men's side, you've been you've been in the fight every every Saturday night. You, you've gotten there. How do you kind of get those guys over the perform over the edge? And who are, you, who are some guys you're looking to to kind of take hold the second half? Well, Stefan and T in the team roping, they should do well. Uh, you know, they last semester the team roping cattle weren't, cattle weren't the you know they were kind of all over the place. They weren't the best set of cattle. We had a lot of rodeos, but that kind of had a lot to do with some of the for, for all the team ropers. You'll look at a lot of the top teams; they're not really where they need to be. And I think it's a lot to do with the quality of cattle we roped in the fall. Uh, I hope these. I hope it starts out good this semester. Uh, the guy's been roping good. Yeah. Uh, our bulldoggers have been looking real good. Uh, Colt Honey, he's sitting second or third in the region, and uh, we put him on the points team this week. And uh, he had he's had some good. He's been going quite a bit this winter, and uh, he's had some success. Won quite a bit of money up at Rapid City and stuff like that. So, and he's been doing really good at the practice pen. So I I hope he steps it up and. He's done. He's he's had really good luck in the short in the long rounds, but then kind of fell apart in the short rounds. So I hope he kind of takes that step and uh, carries that over to the short round. Uh, Dawson, Logan, they've all been bulldogging good. Uh, Raymond, I mean Titan Quig from the calf roping. Uh, he he's been doing good. He had a good weekend at a jackpot this last weekend up at Amarillo. So look for look for him to do good. He's up in the first round of the cattle this weekend. He kind of wanted to get away from that, but it's kind of hard to do. So yeah. we'll see what he gets done and. Hopefully we have the right guys on the team. You know, we've always had the guys in there, the six guys, but it's like every other school, you know, it's trying to find those magic six that are going to, yep. six that are going to be there on the, at the end of the weekend. It's tough to do. So, We'll kind of look ahead. Obviously, we had some schedule changes early in that first semester. We're actually going to get to help uh, Eastern New Mexico host uh, their rodeo at the Mallet Event Center. Let's yeah. kind of talk about that. And yeah, we. Uh, I worked a deal out here with Albert in the city, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to have that uh, Eastern rodeo here. I think it'll be a good venue. It's, it's a great venue at the Mallet Event Center. And uh, I'm glad to have Albert coming over here. That way, we don't have to worry about the weather and all that stuff. And at the time, we don't we didn't really know what New Mexico was going to do. They're kind of pretty tight on their uh, COVID stuff, I guess, over there. But we're going to have it over here. Uh, it'll be uh, starting on that Thursday, the 18th of March, yep. during our spring break. So it'll be good to have kind of a hometown rodeo here. It's got to be a little different going into the second half. You have six instead of five. How, how much does that kind of affect the preparation practice or, or at all? It doesn't affect you know, Yeah. That. One more rodeo. I mean, it's. I'm just glad we're having all of them. Yeah. You know? So I was Absolutely. hoping we. I was just hoping we were going to be able to get this uh, Fort Talis rodeo to happen, and we made it happen. So it'll be good. Absolutely, it's good for everyone. Coach, you got any final thoughts heading to Odessa? No, I just wish luck. Hope everybody gets down there safe and comes back winners. Yeah. Thanks for your time, Coach. See Thanks. you next week.